Yes, okay. Hi everyone and welcome back to another Turkish University webinar series. Uh, as you may know that my name is Gizem. I'm the Educational Counselor and Marketing Specialist at Medu. Uh, today, if you were in our previous uh, sessions, today you will see that we have a change of scenery. I'm at home actually because in Istanbul there's a crazy snow. I just wanted to show you for a minute. So we didn't, we didn't want to travel today. Look at the snow, guys. It's so beautiful. <laughs> we didn't want to travel to office. So today I'm uh, at home and we have uh, an exciting guest today. We have Miss Birgül from Özyen University. Uh, I don't want to keep you guys waiting and I'm leaving and uh, leaving the microphone to Miss Birgül. So He, she will explain you about the university. Welcome back once again, Ms. Birgül. Hi. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much, Gizem. Uh, my name is Birgül Kankaya from Özyen University, from International op uh, Office. And before we start, actually, I would like you to uh, see our uh, video uh, that explains about uh, our university, Özyen University. So um, first, I want to share my screen. Okay. Right. Oh, I think there is no, you can't hear. Oh, uh, we can't hear, by the way. I thought that was my issue. But when sharing the screen, uh, it's we need to share computer audio as well. No, there's no voice. Share computer audio as well. Uh, So Ali, our IT guy, uh, he's saying that uh, when when you're sharing screen, you must also choose share computer audio as well. Okay, I'm just
Okay, Yay. so I'm not good so with the technology, so no. <laughs> sound to share. It's okay. Yeah, I already sent this link to them, by the way. They they might have seen it. I will send it again okay. in case. Great. Oh, okay. Great. No worries. So uh, now we can start with our presentation that explains uh, some information about, you know, our school. By the way, the numbers you have seen in the videos, it was last year, so the numbers I'm gonna give uh, you guys, it's gonna be for this year's numbers. So like uh, how many students we have in, uh, in our university, everything in the presentation, you will be seeing that. And let me just open my presentation share. Okay. All right, so everyone can see the presentation, right? Perfect. Okay, great. Okay. All right. So, uh, Özden University was founded in 2007 and we have received the first international students in 2009. And since then, we have more than 850 international students from more than 65 different countries. And all programs, except the law program, are in English. Uh, also, Ozean University uh, has agreement with more than 100 institutions from, the, from more than uh, 30 different countries, so you can go uh, exchange program around while you are studying in our university. And we have ECTS credit system, which is accepted by the European uh, and American education system. It's like accepted in like when you graduate, if you want to do your master programs in the different uh, countries, you, it's going to be like all credits that ECTS uh, credit system is accepted by the European and the American system. And we have in here some rankings that I would like to uh, share with you. Uh, the world university ranking in 2021, we found that Turkey is the youngest foundation university. In 2019 and 2020, uh, our university claims the first foundation university in green metric uh, rankings. It's very important. This is the new rankings, actually, the newest ones. And uh, also, uh, the Times Higher Education, we are 72nd in university impact ranking in 2019. Uh, Ozean University ranked uh, top eight awards Asia in 2019 by, by outstanding support for uh, students uh, shortlisted. 
Also, I want to mention that we are the top ranked first university satisfaction survey in 2017, 2018, and 2019 in a row. Uh, also, we are the first top university with the uh, fastest graduate employment in 2018 and 19. So when you graduate from our uh, university, uh, you, most of the, our students didn't have a, a hard time to find uh, jobs. And uh, we had some uh, unique programs. Uh, we are known having unique programs like hotel management, gastronomy and culinary arts, professional flight programs. Uh, I wanna give you a, a little bit information about these programs. Hotel management program is cooperated with one of the famous hotel groups, groups called Civis Hotel and Marmara Group Collection in Turkey. So you can get a chance to do your internship uh, you know, uh, in, in, the, in those hotels. And uh, the main part in here is the, our university owner on those hotels. And you might get a chance to also like uh, work in these hotels too, what, when you graduate. And the uh, Gastronomy Culinary Arts Program has a cooperation with the Le Cordon Bleu. Uh, it's a French professional cooking school, as you know. You will have also their certificate, uh, which will separate you from the uh, other cooks. Also, you can get a Zin uh, Diploma, Le Cordon Bleu certificate when you graduate. Uh, this is very important. Le Cordon Bleu, uh, pro, uh, the schools are French schools and it's fam famous all over the world. So you will have a certificate from uh, uh, from this uh, from this school also when you graduate, it's, it's important program. And another another unique program is professional uh, flight program, which is four years program. And um, we are the first faculty in Turkey to establish first simulator center in camp in campus. And you see, you have seen probably in the video that uh, all simulation center is inside the school. Uh, you also get a um, uh, chance to study and if you get a chance to fly in simulator. Uh, also, I want to add in here that we work with the iJet uh, flight school. Uh, with iJet flight school, you will get a chance to fly 213 hours frozen ATPL day flight and uh, 25 hours night flight in total four years. Uh, over here, you can see the, our faculty uh, faculties and uh, what programs that we have in the faculties. We're here like in the business faculty, architecture faculty and faculty of engineering. Uh, in business faculty, we have a business administration, international business and trade, international finance, economics, entrepreneurship and management information system. Uh, in architecture program, we have architecture in English architecture in Turkish, industrial design, communication design, and interior architecture and envi environment. And in engineering program, uh, you see over here, computer science, mechanical engineering, civil engineering, electrical and, ele uh, electrical and electronics engineering, and industrial engineering. These are the, our programs in the faculties and other programs that we have low uh, faculty, but it's only uh, law is in Turkish. So if you speak Turkish and if you want to learn Turkish law, you're always welcome to uh, that program also. And uh, faculty of aviation, uh, in here we have, as I mentioned, professional flight program and aviation management program. And uh, faculty of so social science, international relations and psychology. So, um, I want to give you a little bit of information about our campus. Our university is located in Asian side of Istanbul. Uh, it's 25 minutes away from the city center. Shuttles and buses are available. Uh, if you like to stay in the dorms, our inter international students campus, our dorms are inside the campus. We have the sports center in the campus, like swimming pool, basketball hall, fitness center, tennis court, those are those are available for all our students. It's free, and Özyen University is monitored 70, uh, 724 uh, hours. It's very safe environment for our students, and uh, we have also health uh, center is available 724 hours again. When you have a health problems, you can always walk by to get uh, secure at the moment at the place. And uh, normally, uh, I want to give you a little bit of information about uh, uh, COVID nineteen. Uh, the campus. 
um, since the, the, this year, the students who started, um, especially like they, they started like they haven't chance, they haven't get a chance to start in the university because our campus at the moment is closed. Um, but next year, we don't know what's going to happen, of course. Uh, okay. no, yeah, no, normally the campus is open for our, for all our students. Dorms are closed right now, but the next year, if everything, you know, uh, if the COVID, you know, disappears, hopefully, uh, <laughs> we will have a chance to, you know, like open our campus. So these these facilities will be open for all our students also too. And now, I um, have to apply to Aussie University. It's very easy. You have application. We have application system, online system. Uh, we will need. You will need to uh, add into the system copy of your passport, high school diploma. You, if you don't have the high school diploma at the moment, a transcript would be fine. Uh, your grade from your high school should be minimum sixty percent. This is the minimum criteria. If you have higher grades, uh, like your GPA, uh, you will have higher scholarship. We offer scholarship for all our applicants. Uh, but this this depending this is depending on your high school grades. If you want to know uh, the, uh, what scholarship you will get, you need to apply our online application system. Also, you can add SAT yes scores into your application if you have. That will uh, that is this is not mandatory by the way. The SAT score is not mandatory, but if you have SAT score, it will help you to get more scholarship. Uh, for SAT in math, minimum criteria is six, uh, 600, and in both total, minimum criteria is 1000. Uh, another required document is motivation letter, uh, which should contain minimum 250 words. That explains yourself why you want to study in Aussie University. You can write about your dreams, your goals in the, in the um, motivation letter. It's all up to you. Also, this will help you to get scholarship too, because that gives our, uh, our faculty that you admire about your program or your dreams, you know, it shows who you are. So you need to add this statement of motivation. And if you have taken English tests like TOEFL, Pearson, uh, which is val valid for two years, you can add them into your application system. Uh, I mean, that like these uh, exams will have uh, will help you to get uh, sorry will help you to pass the uh, our English preparation course. If you don't have one of those exams, don't worry. You can sit our trace exam. It's our university's English proficiency test. When you do your registration, you can uh, get a chance to sit uh, this test. If you uh, it's it's for free. Uh, that will evaluate your level of uh, English. So if you cannot pass from this exam, you will get one of the uh, one, one or two uh, semesters English preparation course, depending on your English level. It's very important. IELTS is not accepted in Turkey. Uh, after you submit all the required documents into our system, like your passport, uh, diploma, transcript, motivation letter, English test, SAT scores, if you have, uh, your application will be evaluated by our faculties. You will be uh, receiving uh, your acceptance letter in two weeks, uh, maximum, like in two weeks maximum, but uh, it will also mention your scholarship be offered. Uh, we offer scholarship up to 75%, depending on your grades. Again, if you want to know your scholarship, you need to apply us. Uh, we'll just go like this. I want to show you the price of uh, uh, our programs. Uh, our catalog prices for all programs are $12,000. Only hotel management program is $1,000. But if you get, let's say, like, as I mentioned, that like you will get a scholarship depending on your high school grades. If you get a person scholarship, for example, you will be paying $600 per year. And this scholarship will stay with you for five years. It's not going to get affected uh, by your grades. 
And uh, also I wanna add in here, the profession flight program doesn't offer, offer any scholarship. After, um, let me just do this. After you get, get your acceptance letter uh, with the scholarship mention, and if you want to continue with Ozean University, you need to pay uh, $1,000 prepayment to reserve your seat. The reason we ask for prepayment is some programs have quota and usually it gets full very fast. This pay prepayment will deduct it from your tuition uh, fee when you complete your enrollment. And um, uh, the normally registration starts in August and continues until October. But this year, due to COVID-19, uh, we took all our uh, registration online and education took place online also this year too. Uh, for next semester, we are not sure if the education will be online or not, but the university will announce it very soon. Uh, let's say if the uh, education is online, then the registration will be online too. If that's so, all the required documents, original ones will be submitted online in our enrollment portal. If it is going to be face-to-face -face education, uh, you need to come to uh, uh, for registration and you will need to bring all your original documents with you. The original documents meaning that your uh, high school diploma, transcript, and all required documents that for the enrollment. Uh, we are as an uh, international office, we will be guiding you uh, for pre-arrival, pre after arrival orientation. Also your uh, legal stay for residence permit application, we are going to help you. And uh, anytime that you have any question, we will be there for you, like uh, any uh, questions uh, for cultural uh, adjustment. Uh, we will be happy to support you in social culture like uh, programs during this semester. If you have any more questions, me and my coworkers are happy to guide you. My name is Birgül Kanke again. You can reach us anytime uh, if you want to. Uh, you can follow us from the um, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter. If you have any questions, you can always ask from, uh, 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 you can ask us from the, the that, uh, Instagram, Facebook. But if you have any question, me, as I said, me, me, and this is us, our, uh, my yeah. coworkers. <laughs> <laughs> cool and, pictures. Um, yeah, <laughs> this is our website pictures. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that's it. Thank you so much. For listening and if you have any questions i can help you thank you it was very informing uh, mm -hmm. thank you miss Birgül. it was nice to hear about ozdn once again uh, it is actually uh, one of my favorite universities i love their campus uh, it was on my way it, i didn't study at ozdn but it was close to my uh, own campus so i was like oh this campus is amazing <laughs> and they do have really yeah. uh, uh, great programs, unique programs. I'm sure some of our students would be interested. So uh, as you guys know, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you have any questions, you can uh, direct it to me. I've, I've seen, I'm seeing some questions coming from you, uh, but uh, I'm not receiving as many questions as I uh, would like to see, guys. So uh, please feel free to take, yeah, and, uh, you have us to consult everything you want about your uh, most important decision of your life, actually. One of the most, let's say, uh, studying a university. I'm sure some of you know what to study, but some of you might be lost. So not, uh, we, we also want to help those of you who are not sure about what to study. So hopefully um, these sessions are helpful to you. I just wanted to recap this uh, and remind you this. Ali, could you please share our portal once again and my email also and then let's start the q a session yes abdullah hi uh, he's asking just to be sure is set required or not it's not required but if you have that score please do add into the application system because that will help you to get higher scholarship 
If you exactly. don't have, yeah, don't worry about it. So your uh, the required documents is uh, your uh, diploma and your transcript. This is the most important uh, the part because this is how you get your scholarship. But if you have the like SAT, that will help you to like get maybe five percent or ten percent more than the others. Uh, so add it. Thank yes. You. Also, the intention letter is also important on the uh, yeah, application is, portal. Yeah, exactly. It's very one of the, uh, the like uh, passport, diploma, transcript, and motivation letter. These are the mandatory ones. Don't no, worry. Yeah, others yeah. are not. But if you have it, just add it to, into your file. Uh huh. Thank you for the answer. So, guys, don't worry about the intention letter. I will help you. But I'm sure you guys already have everything ready. Uh, so let's get the other question. Royal is asking, is the business faculty in English or Turkish? All programs are in English except the law program. Also, we have uh, architecture, Turkish and English. So we have also mm -hmm. English architecture program. So only only law program is in Turkish. The rest of the, uh, all programs are in English. Yes. And law yeah, it has to be Turkish kind, kind of. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we teach Turkish law. That's why. Mm -hmm. So Abdul Rahman is asking. You mentioned that scholarship will be across all five years, or did I hear you wrong? No, it's true. Yeah, this is true. Actually, it's gonna stay for five years. Once you, once you get uh, the receive your scholarship in acceptance letter, and then if you register uh, to, into our uh, university, this scholarship will stay for, with you for five years. It's not gonna get affected by your uh, grades in the university. In, after five years, if you cannot finish the university, the, uh, the scholarship will be cut. Yeah, it will be dropped. Yeah. Uh, thank you. It's a four so, years program. I mean, they give extra one year, so it's, uh, it's <laughs> enough time sense. actually <laughs> for yes. success students. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so Emma is asking, how much TOEFL is required? A eight, 80 for each section. Mm -hmm. Uh, so Masa wants to know more about psychology, actually. The yeah, psychology program, I mean, uh, um, what, what do they want to know <laughs> about the yes. program? <laughs> yes, yeah, maybe Masa, could you please, uh, guys, by the way, you can raise your hand and talk. Uh, we would be happy to hear your voices also. Um, Masa, maybe you can um raise your hand if anyone yeah actually if they want also they can always uh, email me like you know i can give it the, i mean if they can see the more details about the programs in our website so uh, www.ozin.edu.tr uh, this is our you know uh, website so they can see the programs and uh, the programs um what the what kind of courses they are offering all the details they can see in our uh, website like or, if they, if they want to know about the courses the name uh -huh. of the courses and stuff everything uh, is uh, in our website and if they want to if they cannot find this information they are always welcome to ask me email me or me all the time. Uh, also, Masa, you can check the portal. There's information about this program. Or uh, if you have a specific question, you can ask, of course. So Z let's hear from you. Zaina is raising a uh, hand. Ali, could you please unmute her? Um, yes, hi. Um, I just wanted to ask, uh, what are the accreditations of the uni? I think the, the voice is yeah. Zaina would like to know recognition accreditation. Uh, sure, let me just get, get some help over here. Okay. <clears throat> so let me just, uh, in the meantime. We have in the AC, uh, SB, uh, accreditation. Is accredited by the AACSP. Actually, I don't have details about this, but uh, these questions you can email me and then I will yeah. get some information from the faculties. And in engineering, we have MUDEC, like Association with uh, Evaluation and Accreditation for Engineering Programs. But as I said, if you, if 
they want to know more details about this, uh, I can ask faculty and get some information for them. Too. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. No problem. So Ali Al Khalifa is raising his hand. Ali, I sent you an email this morning, by the way. <laughs> I, uh, my our Ali IT guy, could you please unmute Ali Al Khalifa? Good afternoon. Hi. Um, I am curious. I'm really curious. So I have two questions. Uh, number one, do you have any uh, majors that relate to uh, computers and business like IT or AI? And the second one is that uh, I heard that uh, if I take a Turkish language course, I am uh, open doors to scholarships and all these. Is that true or no? And it like if you know Turkish, you said Turkish yeah. course, it's not going to help you to get, get more uh, scholarship. There is nothing to do with that. When if you know, if you learn Turkish, that will help you to live in Turkey. <laughs> of course. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but it's not going to help. There is no scholarship related to that uh, knowing Turkish or taking any courses in Turkish. Uh, it's not going to help you. Uh, the the other question was again. Can uh, I... uh, are there any computer science or oh, artificial okay. intelligence? Yeah, we don't have programs called IT, but uh, computer science pr uh, program is the same as the IT program. But in, as I know that in Arabic uh, countries, computer science sounds different uh, to, the, to the most, but uh, it's actually the same uh, courses they are taking, just we call it computer science. Yeah. But it's not called IT. Do you understand what I mean? It's the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same. Um, uh, course yeah, 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 field. We, we usually like most of the Arabic countries. They uh, they don't understand the computer science. When we say when I say that computer science is like IT, but they are the same actually. We just in, mm -hmm. uh, in Turkey we say computer science in our program, but the the, yeah. the, the courses you go, you're gonna take in the computer science is gonna be same for IT uh, the program. Yeah, they usually confuse it with computer engineering, but actually computer science is more to do with coding, uh, yeah. more computer. -y. So I would recommend that for you, actually. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you. So I'm going to go back to chat box a little bit. Uh, Abdul Rahman is asking, can you send a link to your site? I think Ali already did. Uh, Mohanad, send me a direct message. Can you please unmute me? So guys, if you want to be, if you want to talk, just raise your hand because uh, we will go uh, one by one. So I think we talked about accreditation, global accreditation also talked about. Uh, if we do not pass the necessity of the major, what are our options? I didn't really understand this question. Did you, Miss Birgen? <laughs> if we do yeah. not pass the necessity of the major? Uh, okay. And then the rest, where is it saying? I, I couldn't see. If you don't pass in this stuff major. Mm -hmm. What are our options? I couldn't understand. I believe that they are trying to ask like, uh, what if they cannot pass the program? What is the options? I, this is Failing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> let's, say, let's say if you are not successful in the program that you, for example, you, cho uh, you chose uh, one of the engineering program and it's hard for you. And then mm -hmm. uh, you didn't like it after one year that you want to change it, you want to pass to the business program, you know, in other mm -hmm. business program, you can always apply again while you are a student with us. You will just uh, withdraw from the, um, from the program that let's say engineering, and then you will uh, again apply for the new program, okay? And then you will be a new student, but uh, your credits will be transferred if the, the courses matches for the new program and the old program. Some of the courses can be transferred to the other uh, faculty or other program. Yes, thank you. Does the university offer dentistry? Unfortunately, yeah, we don't. Have. Maybe in the future. Okay, let's get, okay. hear from someone. Roya. Hi, Roya. Hi. Um, I just wanted to ask if it's okay to take... Uh, like business courses, like uh, some from the business courses and some from the engineering courses. Yeah, I understand. Uh, you are asking about double major or the minor program. You can. There is some requirements 
for the for for you to do this. Uh, let's say you start in engineering and you want to take another uh, some courses in the, you want to do a double major or minor program. You can apply. There is, as I said, some requirements. Uh, you can see again our website. What are the requirements? We call Chap uh, Yandal. Uh, Gizem, if you want, uh, I can send you later on the link. You can share with the students. Of course. Uh, this link, you know, uh, that will also uh, help them to, uh, you know, s see if they can do it or not. As I said, they need uh, some grades and uh, some courses needs to be finished. But every program have different. Uh, they has uh, they have uh, different requirements. So general requirements I can share with you. All right. Thank you. And one more thing. Uh, from what percentage is it acceptable to like get in what major that I want? For example, let's say uh, I want to go to the business administration. Like from exactly what major, like what percentage or my, uh, my like should be so I can get to the business administration? Uh, let me share with my screen with you. Let's see because I have it's more late. Let me. I'm going to share my screen. Okay. Let's see, hold on. Share. Let me just do this. Wait, okay. okay. You can see my uh, screen, right? Yes. Over here. Can you? Okay. Uh, this is the minor program, for example. Okay, these are the requirements over here. And GP, uh, GPA should be at least 2.5 for the, for the minor program. These are the all requirements for this year. Emulation results, everything you can see over here. Okay, and for the uh, double major, these are the requirements again, and the minimum requirement for it should be 2.72 GPA. Okay, um, as I said, I'm going to share with you these links so you can see the, the details about these requirements for the double major and minor major program. Yes, please. and thank you so much. No problem. Guys, by the way, I'm seeing drawings again. Please don't do that. Yeah, it's okay with us, but uh, it's kind of disrespectful for our guests and those those of your friends who wants to learn more about the university. So don't do it. Okay, they they have been doing this in the past weeks. That's why <laughs> I was I was more kind today. I'm not. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Masa. Uh, oh, he she wanted to uh, learn more about psychology i think i meant how many years does it take four or five uh, it's actually four four per, yeah four years program mm -hmm. all our programs are for you for four years mm -hmm. so shaham is asking does the university offer housing scholarships based on our gpa or is it just academic it's a good question for international students we don't yeah sorry for that but we don't Mm -hmm. uh, actually, uh, I want to give you a little bit information about dorms, but as I said, the dorms are not uh, open due to COVID-19, but uh, we have different type of rooms in our uh, university. For, uh, like, uh, we have dorm one, two, three. This is called this is a building. And another uh, dorm called uh, uh, dorm four, four, five and another dorm building called dorm six. Dorm six is the latest, the newest one. So the dorm, dorm one, two, three is the, uh, the oldest one. So the prices changes depending on the rooms and the buildings that you're cho choosing. For example, if you choose the dorm six, any, any rooms in the dorm six, the price is different than the others. So it changes the rates, the, the prices are changing depending as I said, the rooms. So, but this year, we, the dorms has hasn't announced any um, the prices because as I said it's closed. So next year, hopefully, if the university opens and we will be sharing the the information about the dorms to the price and stuff like that. Thank you for the answer. So Ahmed said no medicine, no dentistry in Canada. Yes. Don't don't <laughs> worry. 
Emma, we will have another university who will have who has medicine and dentistry next week. So make sure to tune in. So let's hear from you guys. Abdul Rahman is raising his hand. Ali, could you please unmute him? Uh, sorry, uh, I I asked my question on the chat and you answered it already. Ah, okay, okay, so, <laughs> but okay, bye. It's nice to hear from you anyway. Don't worry. So let's give the uh, microphone to Mohanad. Uh, how are you? Ah, uh, hi. <laughs> you fake. Hi. How is everything? Keep, uh, keep Hello, students. I would like to welcome to say hi to my students, and I would like to thank you a lot, Gizem. You are doing a great job with us. Thank you, uh, Madame Burgel. I'm Hello. Pronouncing... Hi. How are you? It was Good, amazing. Thank you. Yeah. How are you? Thank you. Yeah. Thanks a lot for you and for your time and for the valuable information you are offering our students. And Thank seeing, you so much. Yes, and uh, once, yani, Kamen Marra, I want to just <clears throat> tell my students that the SAT and the IELTS are only for equivalence. They are not for university requirements, mainly. So SAT, hatta al SAT math, uh, يعني, to my information, mandi, uh, universities, they don't ask for it. It's only for the equivalence with the UAE uh, national or UAE Tawjihi or the high school certificate. Uh, uh, I, would like, I would like also to, Jizem, uh, please, thanks. Wasili, shukri la kill the team. In your, uh... I don't know Arabic. Sorry, I ah, only know sorry, how, sorry, to say, sorry. Uh, how to say how to say I yes, don't know why I learned this. <laughs> I just pass my. Uh, I'm so uh, grateful and thankful what for what you are doing. Uh, oh, we're so you... happy to have you. Anjad, yani Anjad, and these universities uh, representatives, uh, my full respect for them. خلينا ندور الكاميرا انا فيني اشغل الكاميرا ولا كان اي بوت اون ماي كاميرا اه اي كانت اه وي كان سي يو اوكي يا يا اوكي هاي هاي اوكي اي ثوت اي كودنت سويتش ات اون ذاتس واي يا اتس نايس تو سي يو ثانكس فور ذا تكنولوجي نوم ناو وي ار ديستنس ليرنينج اند كاجوال يعني نو وري اتس بيتر yeah so uh i hope the students got the best out of you uh, is there any feedback from the seniors to your office or to the universities they are in contact with actually we have been getting some uh, i've uh, they're asking some questions but not as many as i would like them to ask because this is yeah. an opportunity uh, i didn't have actually any um so you would uh, it's nice to hear from the university and you have us uh, who are professionals in this field and uh, we would like to help you find the good university and program i would like to ask the universities you know the study will be in turkish or in english uh, all programs are in english and uh, except the law program so they will I'm be uh, yeah American meaning that uh, what no, is that? The medical, I mean. A medic, sorry, medical. The medical, yes, they are in Turkish. Well, uh, they don't have medicine. Yeah, we don't have medicine or dentistry. Dan Other we programs have... it can be taught. They can study it in English. They don't need to go for the Turkish language. No. Are you sure? Very sure. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> Very sure. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> La, because I had different information. About Özyen? About the language, yeah. About Özyen University? Ah, la, not about the university. Okay, so in Turkey, there are so many universities and uh, some universities, they are required, they require, their requirements in, uh, should, their students should know Turkish, but our university, one of the top foundation university uh, in Turkey, and uh, the the all courses are taught in, in English except the law mm -hmm. program. 
So the for students, for them to uh, study in our uh, university, they need to have English. Or if you don't have the English uh, enough levels, so we have preparation courses for six mm -hmm. months or mm -hmm. one year, they need to study in the like a prep, prep school. So you, offer, you offer both languages or only English? I mean, only, you offer, in, English, uh, only in English. No Turkish. No. And if a Turkish student wants to study at university, he has to study in English. Exactly. Okay, that's great. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was so happy to see you. Yes, uh, you too. Uh, yeah, I have to leave because I have. Okay. Another... And, and we have. Questions Again, you a lot. Mm -hmm. and I hope I hope I wish inshallah to meet in person. Yes, no, hopefully, personally I'm fed up with this uh, screens and the yes, <laughs> so agreed. Very soon we will meet all, inshallah. Thank you, thank you. And anytime. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. See you soon. Thank you. So, uh, let's hear from Muhammad. He has been raising his hand for a long time. Sorry, Muhammad. No, it's okay. Uh, it's fine. I just, uh, it's fine. You were very oh. helpful and supportive. I had just some question if uh, you would like me to ask. Mm -hmm. um, I was just wondering, can we get an internship at the university uh, while uh, studying at the university? Can we work at the university like as a, uh, like a lecturer or like that? Uh, you can like uh, all the programs requ has required they have requirements for internship yeah we have yeah. some some agreement with some of some of the companies so you will get a chance to do your internship uh, okay. before you graduate and um, uh, for in our international students if they want to work in turkey uh, they need to get work permits Yes, yes, of course. Uh, yeah, okay. so if, oh. as long as if you have work permit, you can uh, work in Turkey. So if you have also like, a, uh, let's say your, if you want to stay in the Like you can work anywhere in Turkey if we have work permit, like in McDonald's, like in university, in office. Anywhere, like yeah, anywhere, anywhere, also in, in university too. If, but if you like, let's say you are successful, you do your PhD, everything, and then the university can, you know, support you uh, to work in, University, so we have this kind of issues, like not issue, like uh, things like that. So you need to like uh, go further education to be oh, lecturer. Okay. In uh, one more thing, you said that uh, your university is one of the best uh, foundation university in Turkey. What is the global ranking of this university and uh, the ranking on national level in Turkey? What is the <laughs> ranking? Yeah, like it's a new actually. Uh, like we just celebrated last year the tenth years of uh, our university, so it's a new university. But uh, the, in, as a foundation university, we are the top three, uh, the first top three university in Turkey, and uh, the rankings I have showed in the presentation uh, just started to be in, uh, inside the rankings because because as you know maybe uh, after ten years. The ranking starts like we can join to the the, the, the worldwide rankings. So uh -huh. uh, the ones that I we have been right now, like in the presentation, I have uh, mentioned. But and we will be like uh, in the uh, the big numbers soon, hopefully. This uh, building which is behind you is that the campus? Yes, it's the 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 main uh, <laughs> the, the main entrance area. Let me just like do this. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what? What will be the, thank you, it's very nice, it's very beautiful. What will uh, show, what is the GPA we should maintain every semester to be applicable uh, to be in the university? What is the GPA should you maintain? Uh, first, acceptance will be the enough. So the like when you apply, a high school diploma should be minimum 60%, okay? Like uh, let's say out of 100, you should be like out of 100, you sh it should be like a 60, per 60 let's say. Minimum. This is the minimum cr criteria, okay. and then uh, once you get your acceptance, and then if you uh, register the, if, when you enroll the university, you can stay. You, your GPA, it's up to you. If if it is zero, let's say your GPA, that means you failed. But you can be a student as long as, uh, you know, as long as like you, you try to pass from your, you know, uh, courses. Let's say, but. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, GPA GPA will be yeah, like for being a student, you need to enroll, get your apply enrollment, and then after that you are a student with us. Yeah, okay. Uh, this your university is it in Istanbul? Yes, it, it's in Istanbul, Asian side of Istanbul. Okay, very nice. Okay. It's like 25, uh, 25 minutes away from the city center. So mm -hmm. we have a little, uh, like a shuttle rings goes every 25 minutes. And then it's like, a, it's very easy. The, the, the transportation is mm -hmm. easy. If you want to stay in the dorms, we have I'm the, the Pakistani yeah. professor from Adaha. Uh, one last thing. Uh, <laughs> One last thing I want to ask, ma'am. Uh, uh, the GPA, which uh, we will have many, will we have many opportunities to uh, explore our fields in the university? Will we have many opportunities? Like, uh, will we have trips and uh, do internships and projects, grow projects, and you know, international level and national level? Like, uh, extent. What do you mean, extent? Meaning. So uh, just to give you like an example, like uh, in UAE, there is MUN and AUS. Yeah, so it's modern regulation. But that's an example. Will we get like that opportunities in the university? Like at mm -hmm. national, national level to represent the university? I couldn't hear the question clearly, sorry. So basically, uh, I will try to be more candid with it. I'm trying to say, uh, will we like in UAE, we have MUN, we have these DFCA, DFFCA, and MUCC projects, uh, which are based on national levels and international levels. When we're in the university, will we have like similar uh, opportunities like that to compete at national and international level and represent the university uh, like that? A competitions, you're asking about international and national yeah, competitions. No, not comp yeah, competitions, uh, organizations, uh, uh, what do you, uh, you can say, what do you call it, events, uh, you know, because uh, my elder sibling, he also went and studied abroad, uh, one of my uh, persons in my family. So he was saying that you, when you're uh, asking your university, so ask them uh, for if they will have more opportunities. So that will be good for your portfolio when you're giving a uh, CV uh, so that you can, you know, you have something to back it up. Uh, so, uh, yani, I don't know, Ms. Virgil. <laughs> I try to understand uh, what is it, but uh, like when you graduate, like having diploma will be recognized by the all uh, other countries. But I don't know what what is your exactly question about like an extra. Uh, I think. Uh, oh, uh, you unmuted yourself, Muhammad. Ali, could you unmute Muhammad? Because I think he won't be able to. Yeah, I understood the question, but in order to for us to reply back in a correct way we we need to know more about the programs in uae you're talking about unfortunately i'm not familiar so, with that but i can so ask if I can madam jumana me. about it yeah yeah yeah. you can email me uh okay. Ali, could you please share my email once again yeah like, you, can, you can ask me like once you get the question yeah we can i can ask like what is the details you know like to the faculties you know they might give you more uh, answers about this because I oh, do not understand so what, what I mentioned mm -hmm. in your country that you guys have like a, is the names so I would like to also know that if you can share me later on about this information okay thank you Moh uh, Mohammed uh, I'm waiting for your email Ali don't forget to share my email so Abdullah has been waiting Roya and Ali I will also give you uh your place, but let's hear from Abdullah. I think he didn't speak before. Excuse me, Muhammad Ali, this person is not from our school. He's just asking questions to, to waste time, just like the past meeting. I'm sorry, what? He is just waste, wasting time. <laughs> he is He's wasting... not from our school. Oh, okay. No, uh, it's okay. But it's important for other students to learn about these things, I guess. Okay, thank you, Mr. Abdullah, for letting us know. So, uh, Emma is asking about, does the union has athletic activities and does it offers athletic scholarship? Yeah, it's a good point. We do have a sports scholarship. 
uh, before when you apply, if you um, have uh, like background in any sports backgrounds, like uh, if you have some uh, uh, awards and stuff, and if you uh, do some sports uh, things that you can share with us, the por uh, portfolio, we can share with the sports center, okay? And uh, there's some requirements they're gonna ask from the students. And uh, we do like, a, you can add this scholarship extra for the, uh, let, let's say you have 50% uh, scholarship and it's, let's say you, you got like a 20% for, from the uh, sports center, it's gonna be 80, it's gonna be 70%. So the total, so it will stay uh, with the sports uh, scholarship will stay with you as long as you um, do active sports in the university. Thank you, that was helpful, I guess. So mm -hmm. uh, let's hear from Roya and then Ali and uh, I think we will be done for this today. I'm so sorry to disturb you again, but can you share the link about that when you shared your screen, the one with the GPA and everything uh, in the chat box? And also one more thing, if any student is trying to like uh, study in major engineering or, uh, or business, trying uh, then go to work in Turkish, uh, do they need to learn Turkish or they can uh, like immediately go work like knowing English or is it fine? As far as I understood, like uh, once they graduate, do they need to uh, know Turkish? Is that the question? Uh, yes. Like, for example, uh, I graduated from the business administration. Do I need to learn Turkish to go work? Or like, uh, is it OK that I have English uh, like applications and everything and I can work like knowing English? Yeah, like uh, being in, in uh, Turkey for four years, most of our students, they speak Turkish also. They learn uh, to speak Turkish once they come here. But if they don't uh, learn Turkish, uh, first of all, for you to work in Turkey, you need a work permit. That's the thing. If, as long as if you find your work permit, uh, like if, if you find any company that supports you to work, uh, they probably uh, will be asking the, the main uh, language will be like English. But let's say you speak also Turkish too. That will help for them to, you know, like uh, to get this um, job. And uh, as I said, like it's depending on the, the job that you will find, and it, it's depending on you on you that if you know Turkish, if you know English, if you find a work permit in here, if if you find a job that supports you in here, it's all like a uh, question marks actually. Yes. And can you share the link that you, when you shared your screen about the GPA and stuff, please? Did you ask about the, the double major and the minor program or uh, the, yeah. the presentation I, I mentioned? Which one do you want, you want me to share? The double major and minor, both of them. Okay. Thank you so much. Over here in the chat box, I actually, I'm going to uh, put the link right now. Yeah, that would be so fine. That would be enough. That will be also good for you, I believe. Okay. So uh, let's hear from this Ali. For, this is the double measure. No, let's see. My, let's see. The, and uh, let me just do this. And this is the minor program. And I'm gonna uh, the share these links in the in the chat box over here. I couldn't do it. Okay, let me just share this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I have I'm, I have a problem with technology. You can see. <laughs> same, same. I can feel you. <laughs> no worries. And this is for the minor program. Okay. Andrea, you can always ask any additional questions. I'm sure you will have more because you guys, when you dig more, you have more new questions. So don't worry if that's the case with you also. So let's hear from Ali and then uh, I think we will call it a day. Yes, Ali. 
All right, thank you so much for allowing me to ask once again. Um, I was, when, if God wills, I'm going to be in a location town in Istanbul named Belik Duzu, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if there are any transportation methods or any student passes that can allow me to get to the university, like the metro bus or like the tram. Okay. From uh, the Beylik to the, it's uh, the, the, the European side of uh, Istanbul. Mm -hmm. So we are in Asian side of Istanbul. As uh, I said, that we have a ring goes in, in uh, every 25 uh, minutes. We have a ring goes to the Altunizade. So yeah. Altunizade is a, one of the city centers. They have, they, in, over there, they have metro, metrobus, and uh, other kind of uh, transportation options. So you need to you you might need to transfer from the Altunizade to Beylikdüzü from Metrobus with the yeah. with the Metrobus or we have different also uh, shuttle points that it goes to Taksim some hours it goes to Üsküdar, uh, Kartal, Beşiktaş, Mecidiyeköy yeah. like different shuttles we have in uh, in a daytime like uh, two or three times in a day. So you can also use one of those uh, transportation options too. Yeah, and uh, I heard that like student uh, students can get uh, free passes for the metrobus. Is that true? Uh, being a student in Turkey, uh, you can get discounts. Uh, it's not going to be free, but it's going to be discount. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. It's like one lira, one lira, one yeah, yeah. something. It's very cheap. It's a you need to have your you need, once you register in the university you will have your student id and you will apply to the our government site to get this student transportation card yeah all right thank you so much you're welcome, you're welcome. so let's hear uh, from mr ashraf and then we will call it a day okay mr ashraf let's hear from you okay first of all i want to thank you very much for this great event that you are uh, holding here and I want to be uh, very thankful for this university also. But I want to say one word for this student is called Muhammad Ali Hamid. This is not of our students. And he did the same in uh, our visit to another uh, university, in the other webinar. So please remove him as they did, because it's keep annoying and asking some questions, keep talking for a long, long time. I know my oh, students. Okay. Thanks. Okay, no problem. Thank you. So By Muhammad, the way, Mr. Khan told me this also, sent me a message about this topic also. Thank who? you. Mr. Muhammad okay. sent me a message and we don't recognize this student. He's not one of our students. There can be special invites uh, from our end, but uh, I don't remember Muhammad, I Muhammad. Don't worry, we will change the link for the next week. I will send you a new week for you can attend. Uh, and I will also assist Muhammad privately. Uh, thank you, uh, thank and you sorry much. for okay, the you. inconvenience. I think that would be helpful for everybody. So, okay, uh, this was a nice session, guys. Uh, I learned a lot from uh, about Özyen, and uh, I uh, realized I missed it. So it was nice to hear from Miss Birgül. Uh, thank you once again for joining, and thank you, uh, Dalha School. You guys were great today. You had the good questions. So. Uh, also for yeah as you guys know uh, the drill if you have any questions i'm here we want you to uh, be happy with your choice we want you to feel safe in turkey uh, you want i we want to be uh, you to be fe feeling content with everything so don't mm -hmm. hesitate to contact us uh, for any information and that's it for today <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you so much for everything. Also, I sh uh, shared the our university link over the in English uh -huh. website, so you can see our website and then in general information. Also, I want to share the uh, my our international uh, the applicate the international like full time international students uh, website we have. Also, you will see like more deta details about the, how to, you know, apply to university, uh, our university, and then um, application criteria, stuff like that. You will be getting more information our, from our website too. Great, thank you. And thank that's you a wrap. Too. That's a wrap for today. And see you next week, guys. Uh, prepare better questions. Uh, today was great. 
I will I want to see the uh, same performance next week and have a good day. Bye bye.